Welcome back to Vampire's Melody, where I got so many questions I don't want to know. And I still don't want to know. <laughs> yes, I was glitching. Wait, why is the screen black? Fight! Fight! Only I'm supposed to be the loud one. And the report is... Oh yeah, I read that last time. Move my cursor out of the way. You can even make people lose their memories when they when you suck their blood. I need to have cursor on screen. Apples. It was not purpose. Uh, perfect. It's so convenient. Oh, I see. You didn't suck my blood because you were afraid I would forget about you. Is that right? So you want to let me? I see. <laughs> Well, it turns away in a huff. Is it because I'm adorable? I see why. <laughs> Is it because I'm not wearing pants? Screw you. You like it, don't you? <laughs> I can't dig it. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't know you are a lady who is afraid of being lonely. That's so cute. <laughs> I see how it is. Don't. Don't waste all this good food. I'd hate to see them go get rain ruined. I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Yeah. Never <laughs> make me actually don't no 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 not the food. Please don't not not the food. <laughs> he glares at me. Perfect. Look at the police in the area, right, right in those metallic skinned vehicles. And I will arrive very quickly if anything happens. We need to be extra careful from now on and stay out of trouble. Perfect. I'm not just worried that you may lose control of yourself. Waitress served several glasses of water, which quenched my thirst after I finished everything on the table. It feels satisfying to have such things that I never had before. Right now, how is he going to pay for this? <laughs> Yella suddenly asks the question. Uh, yes. Er, why are you asking this question all of a sudden? Oh, nothing wrong with that. Just want to know. <laughs> hmm. It was an easy, it was an easy going and strict man. His coloring skills were impo impressive. Yet he would often quarrel with his customers. Because he's a nice guy. <laughs> Actually, he was very nice. Although I had lived with a former small town, 
farmer's small town when I was a child. I wasn't born here. I was born in an old context. But I never saw my natural parents. I stayed in an orphanage for from the time I could learn about things. Mr. Cook adopted me. After that, so he became my father and brought me to his new context. Content. Yes. I don't know how this works, but me not need big brain. <laughs> big brain not need to use. Hmm. It's because the old context would often have wars for many years. Cook's wife and daughter had already died. My natural parents probably met a similar fate as well. Later, they said, uh, the new context uh, on the other side of the ocean had a sanctuary of light filled with hope. So Mr. Cook brought me, the, brought me here. Yes, this is why humans will like to beat the crap out of each other. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Mr. Cook heard that a person would go through the to the sanctuary of light after they died. So, he thought his wife and daughter would be th at the new context. And he decided to cross the ocean and settle in the place con closest to them. Yes! No, I don't want to do that. Why are you screwing me over? Fucking asshole. I see how it is. You despise me that much. Fucking asshole mouse. <laughs> Fucking dick. You expect me to be nice to you? Or it could be the computer. Either way, one of them's an asshole. <laughs> Don't judge me. could have foreseen that at first. We thought of leading a peaceful, subtle life. Yet, the good times didn't last long. And a new war broke out not long afterwards. I shrug and smile brightly, bitterly. And that's where he found you, and now he's stuck in this timeline. Time to break the timeline, boys. Where's the TARDIS? <laughs> what about you? My story is very short, but I remember you came from a more distinct place, right? Your story should be very long. Okay, so you will need to hide after a few days. Wait. So you'll need to hide a few days in the darkness for the rest of your life. Fox! What the hell? At least you can you could dig an entire vault. In store uh, your treasure. God knows how many lifetimes it would need to it, accumulate that amount of wealth. Of 
Not my problem. You've been uh, alive for how long? Like what? Three human lifetimes? <laughs> I don't fucking know how, how freaking vampire lifespans work. <laughs> you should take a nap too. I trust myself upon hearing her remember indeed. Figure, uh, figure will take over after I fall full meal. Yeah, where are you gonna sleep? You can't sleep in here, in the freaking restaurant. Yellow, let out, let looks out the window, lost in thought again. Brought to you by tables, the only friends you need. Good night. Like, freaking pulls you out. It's like, well, too, too bad. Now you need to find a freaking place to live. <laughs> I glance at her, use both hands as a pillow, and slowly drift off to sleep after resting my head on the table. Now what? Next morning, we're woken up by all that noise from the restaurant staff while uh, handling the, the furniture and eating un un roughly. Upon looking around, I notice the waitress from last night is gone. A, bur a burly man is in her place instead. And his name is Bruno. <laughs> Did he scare us just now? Well, you shouldn't be sleeping in a restaurant, so have fun. <laughs> Yella covers her mouth and yawns. Oh, yeah. Makes sense, you're in a frickin' restaurant. Decided to sleep there. I bet Bruno behind the counter is looking at you like, Don't fuck with these two dudes, they're not supposed to be! <laughs> Could be hell, but let's go. Oh, I can't feel anything in my arm. Not my problem! You slept on your arm for like, what, eight hours? Maybe more? My arm suddenly feels numb when I stand up. Oh yeah. Heard. How come I don't didn't think of it? Please tell me you at least paid for your tab. <laughs> Since Yella is urging me to leave, I shake my arm a few times. To step out of the restaurant and get a greet the new day. My old body is aching. Yeah, because you were sleeping on a fucking chair. And of course, as I decrease the volume on my freaking headset, of course. Because why not? Yes. I will fall apart at this rate. See why you were sleeping on a table. I nod in agreement and point at the, my aching limbs. And back to the pain it will probably kill me if we need to spend an entire night in this way. I see why. And we'll smell. And we smell so bad, even for even the dogs may disagree. Despise us if we continue like this. Well, find a river and go from there. You will actually have some food, water, and then you two get a job. I can't help you with that. Like I cannot help you get a job. You have to do that on your own. Yella didn't agree with me. She seemed to have recognized the fact that she has a strange body odor on herself as well. 
I wonder why. <laughs> There's deodorant. Have fun. Perfect. <laughs> but from here, we're going to end it there. So, I don't know how to end this episode. He wants a bed. He wants a freaking sleep on tables, apparently. So, I hope all you guys have a great well of a time. Great day, too. We'll, I'll freaking start the recording for next episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Almost likely to be a couple of days from this episode, so don't worry. <laughs>